Inmates, how's life behind bars? Not these bars, these bars. I'm sorry I've left it such a long time to get an announcement back to you regarding the ammo guard, but here it is. You're probably aware we officially announced the ammo guard back in October 2022. At that point, I genuinely thought the ammo guard was ready to be manufactured and distributed globally, but we soon discovered it needed more work. It has to be right. Those of you who know me or get an idea of what my expectations are will know I am a perfectionist when it comes to products and application methods. I want the ammo guard to undergo significant testing before I signed it off as an a bike thing product. After the first YouTube video was released, the emails and requests to pre-order have been overwhelming. So overwhelming, we had to scrap the 3D print production run and make a significant investment into the tooling required for injection molding, which will enable us to manufacture the ammo guard in large volumes quickly. This is one of the reasons for the delay. Due to the way the ammo guard sits on the headlight to give us that OEM factory look, we wanted to make sure it was weatherproof, so no rain or wash water finds its way in behind the ammo guard. We've successfully managed this. However, the rear of the BMW headlight housing on the GS and GSA was never designed to be weatherproof, let alone waterproof. The factory bezel that's currently on your GS and GSA is designed to allow water to pass either side. The ammo guard has a perspex guard sealed to the front bezel, which is the whole point of protecting your headlight. But this now means we need to create breathing vents in the underside of the ammo guard to counteract the condensation. Breathing vents can be found on most, if not all, car headlights and rear light clusters for this very same reason. But the vents are concealed behind body panels where rainwater can't find a way in. Condensation has not been an issue under normal riding conditions. To remind you, the creator of the ammo guard has had this on his own bike for two years and never had condensation. However, we've been putting it through rigorous testing, long rides to allow some heat transfer from headlight, followed by icy cold water being thrown over it. Also, bike left out in cold temperatures, but then washing it with hot soapy water. In these extreme environments, we've managed to force condensation behind the guard, but then if left for a while, the air vents will allow for the condensation to clear. From a later video, you will see that we actually redesigned the ammo guard slightly so we could implement double glazing, which was going to increase the manufacturing cost. It showed some improvements, but not good enough where we could guarantee this would completely eliminate condensation or water ingress via the air vents. So we decided to scrap the double glazing idea, which reduces build cost, so we can maintain our current suggested price, which is great news. So what we have now is a slightly modified design, which had to be done due to the injection molding process, but we cannot give you any guarantee against water condensation ingress. So, Similar to any other headlight guard or windshield, if water gets behind it, you'll need to remove and clean. Four screws and the ammo guard is off. We did think about making a pop-on and pop-off design, but this would make your ammo guard a very quick item to steal. So I don't think that was such a great idea. We're expecting the first batch of ammo guards to run off the production line in early May. It's going to be first come, first served, based on pre-order sales. We've ordered more than we need to cover all customers that have shown interest in the product, but we have estimated we'll be able to fulfill 100 plus orders a day. So if the data we have collected is correct, we will get all pre-orders dispatched within two weeks of the ammo guard arriving with us. We will email you again in seven to 10 days, letting you know we are accepting pre-orders. So make sure you're near your emails so you can pick up that email to let you know that the pre-order page is open and you can actually place your order and you'll be one of the first to receive your ammo guard this year. Until next time, stay safe behind bars. Not these bars, these bars. See you in the next video.